What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to cover two little things here. So I've spoken before about a concept I call windows and mirrors, and that is the uh, creating the illusion of a flat plane and then a vertical uh, face of a wave. Um, and what happens is with that mirror is that it reflects the sky or what's going on in the sky and the window allows you to see through the surface of the water what's going underneath. But that also just leads us into another little thing, um, the, a process or a theory and that is from warm to cool. So we have a, a warm light source here and as we transition out away from the light source things cool down. And I've got these waves here. Now the face of these waves is going to be in shadow slightly. Um, so it'll be further away from the light source and a little bit cooler. And I also want to create the illusion of these waves being windows into the surface of the water beneath. So I mixed up a bit of phthalo blue and phthalo green and thinned it out a lot and taken most of it off. And what I'm actually going to do is just drag it across like that here and there strategically to create the impression of little waves and those little waves are where you can see through the surface of the water at the color of the water underneath and it also adds to that lovely bit of depth and dimension and sort of recedes off into the darker area Oh, same thing over here, but a little less because this is closer to the light source, so I'll do a little bit less there. There's an old saying, uh, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to, I've mixed up a, a, a bit of phthalo green and a cadmium yellow medium. Um, it makes this lovely kind of um, radioactive green and I'm going to whack it in here so I've got my my the face of my waves out here but the light is going to start shining through these waves here and so I can strategically suggest that so the green does something really interesting when it starts getting into that orange area there but what I'm trying to do is create the impression of being able to see through the surface of the wave into the colour of the water beneath it. Uh, and I'm just going to come back in a second. With another colour. That will seem ridiculous. So I've added some more cadmium yellow to that. Cadmium yellow medium. And I'm just going to put that right across here like that to suggest that the light is shining through the back of that wave in here in the shallows as it's rearing up. And that one's a bit bigger, so I'm going to put a suggestion of that in there as well. There we go, and a little bit here. And we should be starting to see a little bit more interest in those darker areas and in the water and see little flashes of colour here and there in the ripples. But don't, get, don't be scared of using some outrageous colour, especially at this part of the painting, because we can, you know, this is just roughing in, and this is where you can kind of get to experiment a little bit and go, yeah, it's a little bit too green, a little bit too right, and you might be surprised, you might fluke it and, and nail it and get something that looks fantastic. So we've been looking at kind of windows and mirrors. One of the things, the interesting thing that happens is when a wave rears up, especially when there's strong light behind it, the light kind of shines through it. So what we want to try and do is create the illusion of the colour of the water, but we want to represent that lovely golden light that's coming through. And we want to create the impression of this water being transparent. So I'm making this lovely kind of fluoro yellow there. And that will just go in here and there like that. And viola, <laughs> lovely clear transparent water early in the morning with the sunrise behind. Okay. So I hope you got something useful out of that. Um, one thing I do want to say though, as I'm doing all of this, I'm putting colour down and sometimes I put the colour down and I go, you know what, that doesn't look quite right. The great thing about that is that you know then what to do next time. So each time you make a mark, it kind of gets you a step closer. So celebrate every, every mark you make, regardless of whether it's a success or not. Got it. <laughs> If you're really careful about the marks you make, you can really 
um, paint a really nice picture about the surface of the water here. And out the back here, there's going to be a, a, a reef with some waves breaking, which means that all these waves in here are going to be small. Now, when a wave breaks on a reef and it comes in over the reef, the waves all compress and they become really small. So what I'm going to do is just do lots and lots of little, little lines with the light reflecting on them and that will create that illusion. So I've demonstrated a couple of times here and there about the idea of a dry brush down like that and wet brush across, but I just thought I'd mention that I, just, I gen generally <laughs> tend to do the pale colour like this or the most intense colour last. So this area here, like that, and those really intense reflections are the ones that I tend to do last in the picture. Um, and they really do make all the difference in the world when it comes to kind of, you know, building up those illusions of depth and dimension and interest and excitement. And you know, that's just a few brush strokes, but you should already be able to see you know, the waves starting to stand out and the highlights here and there. And then we'll come back with a smaller brush later on and define the, the tops of the waves here and there and a few other bits and pieces. And that'll really make this picture pop. So I've woven a lot of color through this picture here. And it's reminded me of um, a good friend of mine, Graham, who has a, uh, a show you might have seen called Color In Your Life. And if any of you are thinking about doing it, I, I highly recommend it. I, I did it a while ago and we had a lot of people show a lot of interest in the work and a lot of interest in the tutorials. And in fact, possibly some of you watching might have actually found me through the Color In Your Life thing. So, you know, if you're thinking about doing something good for your career, check that out. <laughs>